My guest is Kim Langford. She's contributing editor at Kiplinger's Personal Finance. If you go uh, online and you can read up on the insurance uh, information that she has there from an article that she has written about this whole business. Now, folks, uh, look, I, I like you. I don't. I hate this business. I, I don't. First of all, I don't understand the insurance. I don't understand my options. But, and I don't understand why, at this time of the year, I have to do something. So, Kim, explain why we're allowed to do this, and is this a good thing that we we have an option to go in and make changes? Well, it is actually a great opportunity, um, uh, especially if you have Medicare Part D, for example. You don't have to do anything. If your plan still exists, you'll be automatically be re-enrolled into it um, next year. However, this is a really great time. You have from October 15th to December 7th um, to, to choose your Medicare Part D plan every year for the next calendar year. And you may have several options in your state that are available. Some may be new options. Or the plan that you picked last year may have changed quite a bit. You may not see big premium changes. The average premiums are just going up from $32 to $34 a month in 2017. But some plans have dropped drugs from their coverage, from their formularies. Mm -hmm. Some plans have changed the copayments uh, significantly. For example, you may have paid, you know, $20 copayment for 30-day supply and now may have to pay 20% or even 30% of the cost of the drug, um, which can really be a lot more, especially, especially for some of these expensive specialty medications. So mm-hmm. take a look at all of the plans available to you. And there's a great way to do it if you go to medicare.gov slash find hyphen a hyphen plan. It's called the Medicare Plan Finder. You just type in your your zip code and your drugs and dosages, and it shows you exactly how much you will pay throughout the year for each plan available in your area. Not just premiums, but those out-of-pocket co-payments and co-insurance costs. 